Okay, so I've been trying to jailbreak my PS3 and uh, install Serendipity, GTA 5 mod menus and shit. And I have had so much trouble with using my little USB stick. No matter how many times I format it, nothing happens. So as I look here, so like here, we'll go to this drive. If you go over to format, and that's why Windows sucks butt so much, that's all you get. You can choose your, uh, the f uh, file system, your different formats for your drive, you know, then your, uh, Macs don't have this thing, because they just do it themselves. Uh, not, nothing, it's pretty much like for kids. See, now here's Mac OS Disk Utility, which I like. So, and this comes with your Mac, so if you have a Mac, don't worry, this will be in your fi uh, finder. But if we go in here, so like this is the main drive right here for my little SD card reader here. So it's the adapter kit. See how it says GUID partition map? And then of course EXE FAT is the format of the partition that's on the drive. Here's my uh, computer's uh, internal drive, GUID partition map, Mac OS extended journal because it's my Mac's hard drive. And then this one is GUID partition map, and Mac OS Extended Journal because it's my time machine backup. So, I have been pissed off trying to figure out how to get this thing to work. And I finally figured it out why it hasn't been working with the PES3. The problem was very simple. Let me just get it plugged back in here. Okay, let me pop it up here. There it is. MS-DOS FAT32, correct format for PlayStation. So you gotta make sure you have this in the first place. So check this first, and if this is wrong, uh, then that won't work. But if this is right and it still isn't showing up whatsoever in your PlayStation, the problem is right here. You need to switch it to master boot record. That's the only uh, codec that it will read. Uh, so what you do is, of course you need a Mac or you have to get some sort of third party formatter for Windows, so you'll go into Erase, but you have to remember that if you go into your partition though, and you click Erase, that option won't be there, and you can't even change this, well I mean you can, but you can't keep it as its original FAT32, you'd have to reformat it as a new FAT32. So if you go into the actual uh, drive itself, not the partition, and we go to Erase, you can see that on the Mac you can change its name, it's format, which needs to be, wait, oh, it just wants to go to, oh, I thought, never mind. Um, so then you go to FAT32, make sure it's FAT. You can't you can't just choose uh, EXE FAT. It has to be MS-DOS FAT. And the other thing is master boot record. Can't be GUID, and of course it can't be the Apple thing because that's just for uh, Apple machines. So that is what you need to choose, and then you'll just erase it. But I've already done this. And I finally got it to work. So that's all you need to do. And it should start right back up and work on your PlayStation. And I think this also works for like if you have your uh, big hard drives. Because I remember I had this one working before too and then it stopped working. And now this is starting to make sense. And it's kind of making me upset because all I had to do was change that. And I never thought of that until now. And then I just did it and whoop, there you go. Now it works. And just to prove that I ain't lying, I got the PS3 booted up here. And remember too, that if you're using your PS3, it has to be the, the right most USB port. So see, I got my little thingy plugged in here. It needs to be the way furthest one over. So I'm gonna lay you down just for a second and plug it in. And there it is right there, working. Because when it's not that format, it does not show up. But anyway, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you find it helpful. I know that I've searched YouTube and just could not find jack about it. So, thank you.